Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Vault Hunters. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. Before we get into the meat and potatoes of today's episode, I just want to take a minute and say thank you to all of my patrons. Um, honestly, times are tough for me right now, and that support on Patreon is the difference between me barely scraping by and me not making it at all. Uh, from my financial perspective. So uh, for those of you who support me on Patreon, and for that matter, those of you who have a membership here on YouTube, uh, I just want to say thanks. Uh, it means so, so much, and it, it really is uh, making a difference. Uh, now, with that said, between episodes, I've done some things. As you can see, we have a wall of storage drawers, and uh, it it's all very functional and storage drawery. Uh, and then we have our colossal chest over here with tons and tons of stuff. Uh, I have carved out a little area right here. This is where our really basic refined storage system is going to go and our interface and all that kind of stuff. So we can link up to all of this at once. And then over here, we'll probably put another colossal chest in the future uh, just for the sake of symmetry more than anything else. We're also going to have this old wall will also be storage drawers way down the road. Um, now... I've been doing some thinking about how I want to set this up, and I decided to go ahead and unlock the modular routers mod because in order for our refined storage system to work, it needs power. And for power, we're going to use these thermo generators right here. These things are pretty awesome. Uh, you put them on top of a lava block, and they just passively generate power. The thing is, they also need coolant, specifically water, and they consume that over time. And I don't want to have to be dumping water into these things and actually uh, maintaining them. I just want to set them up and kind of forget about them. So there are a few different ways that we could set this up. We could um, – uh, I mean we could just dump water into it. There's mechanism with a pump. There's a whole bunch of different options. But I think the best one is actually uh, a mod – called Cooking for Blockheads, this sink right here. And this is no unlock required. You don't need to spend any research points. You just have this right from the beginning. This is an infinite water source. Uh, so we need an infinite water bucket, which is uh, two water buckets, a pog, and a perfect alexandrite. You can see I've already made one of those. And then some terracotta, some black chromatic steel, and a chromatic steel ingot. And then this is just a block that sits there as an infinite water source, and we can pipe water from that sink into whatever we want it to. And that is where modular routers comes in because modular routers is a mod that yes, it can move items around and it can do so wirelessly, which is pretty amazing uh, within a limited range, unless you go uh, way up the food chain. Um, but it also works on fluids. So it will work for water, which is amazing. Uh, so it, it, it in theory, uh, I can set up the thermo generators, put some lava underneath them, and then set up the sink and use modular routers to pipe water into the thermo generators, and then they should be good to go. So yeah, it's pretty sweet. Also, I got to say, I'm really impressed with modular routers. I've never really used this mod before, um, but I've been looking through the recipes, uh, and from a Vault Hunter's perspective, these recipes are pretty affordable. Um, they're mostly... Uh, Laramar, Vault Essence, Chromatic Steel, and Silk Blocks, uh, and that is uh, that is pretty much it. Even, you know, the range up augments are just nether quartz, the speed upgrades are just, you know, pretty basic stuff. Like, all of these recipes are very, very manageable, uh, so we should be able to take advantage of this in a big way. Uh, but yeah, I've got a lot of crafting to do in order to get this project ready to go, so let me get to it, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, I think I have it all set up. So, um, I'll just give you a little bit of look behind the scenes. So here's the actual, this is what you'll see. Um, but I've carved out a little doorway here just so I can show you what's behind. So we have our uh, refined storage controller right here. And this thing is only using 16 FE per tick. If we hook more stuff up to it, it will increase. Uh, but since we really only have like three things hooked up. It's pretty cheap. We've got uh, back. Oh, I'm going to have to do one of those, aren't I? That's fine. Uh, so 
Over here, these are external storage buses. I've got one hooked up right to the drawer controller for the whole refined storage system, and then I'm running these cables. And those of you who've seen one of my modded series before, you know I like to keep my cables out of sight. I don't like spaghetti cable all over the place where you can see it. I like to hide it in the floors or in the walls, um, so this will all get covered up. But basically that cable runs down here and up into the controller. Then we have a cable that connects up to the disk drive and the grid. And then this cable runs down underneath the floor here and up into our uh, colossal chest. Uh, it has to go into the front unless I want to remake the whole chest, which just seems uh, tedious. Um, and that hooks into the colossal chest interface. So now when we click on this crafting grid, we can see all of our stuff that is in our refined storage system, that's in our colossal chest, and that is in these two disk drives, which currently aren't holding anything, but in the future it might be something we need to do. So yeah, that's basically how it all works. Uh, let me just go ahead and close these gaps up. Oh, also, I should probably show you the modular router thing. So the way that this is working, um, these generators, since they are right next to the controller, I don't need to run any power cables. Now, modular routers does actually have the ability to do energy transfer as well. So I could put these thermo generators basically anywhere and then use modular routers to transfer the power wirelessly to this controller. Uh, but this is just an easier setup. Uh, they are sitting on top of two lava blocks. And then in here, I have three fluid modules. One of these is linked up to the sink to tell it to take water from the sink and pull it into the, wa the router uh, using this buffer. And the other two are saying, OK, now send that water to this block and this block. And that's how these are going to stay up, uh, stay stocked up on water. Uh, and then these will each generate 60 FE per tick so they can just power this thing uh, essentially forever. No maintenance required. I don't have to come here, put fuel in or anything like that. They just work. So, yeah, there we go. Now, now I'm going to do something that I may later regret, but I think that is going to be worth it in the long run. And that is I need a crafting grid. Um, you'll notice right now when I click on this, there's no way to craft items within this uh, system. To do that, you need a crafting grid. To make a crafting grid, you need a regular grid, which we have. You need a crafting table. That's easy. But then you need an echo pog. Uh, <laughs> so it's not great. Uh, thankfully, I believe I have stockpiled... Uh, enough gems, all the unique ones. Uh, I don't remember which ones we all need, so I'm just going to grab all of them. Uh, and actually, you know, we should have some pogs already in here, right? Yeah, we've already got four pogs. So we only need to craft four pogs, and then we need to make a perfect echo gem. And this will make an echo pog. Um, now, the crafting table, that part's easy. We can just yoink one of those. And then uh, I can actually just yoink this <laughs> because we're going to use it. Uh, but if we put this, this, and this in here, that will make us our crafting grid. And now you'll see when we go in here, we've got a little crafting table, which means I can open up my refined storage system. I can say, hey, I want to make an echo pog or I want to make a pog and it will just go right here. I don't have to worry about going into a crafting table at all. Uh, I don't know if that increases. Yep, that slightly increases our FE per tick. But again, like we're generating 120 uh, FE per tick and pumping it into this thing, and it's only using 18. So this thing will run literally forever uh, unless we add more stuff onto it. So there we go. We officially have refined storage set up, and we have a decent storage network for all of our stuff. So that's lovely. Um, now, I do have all of these different chests and jewels and things. I've got all the armor, etc. I 
don't know. I probably should put all these into the refined storage network. Um, but I think I'm just going to hold off and leave it for now. We'll see. Um, now, the next thing on my to-do list, I think it I need to run a vault. Um, I only need some pumpkins, and I should have a decent amount that have grown out here, uh, as well as some that are already in my system. Go away, you. Uh, ooh, it appears we lost one. I'm guessing a zombie stepped on it or something. We shall replant. Um... No, and those ones just hadn't grown yet. Okay. But between these pumpkins and the pumpkins that I had already collected uh, a little while ago, we should be able to make ourselves another crystal. Uh, and we can just pop in here, say, hey, I need pumpkins. Bada bing, bada boom. We have our pumpkins and turn off. Off the magnet, toss, toss. Beautiful. And it's that easy. Uh, so yeah, this is this is going to be hugely useful for us. Just having all of our stuff in one spot, uh, and especially the ability to search it, uh, it's gonna be great. I'm so, I'm so glad that we finally have this inventory stuff set up. Um, now let's go ahead and Wait, where's my button? What happened to my button? Oh no. Did it, it, it must have popped up. You know what? We're going to go with a gold button. We'll make it real fancy. Why not? We have more buttons this time. Uh, so we'll make our crystal, but I just thought of something else. There's another thing that, uh, <laughs> modular routers done. And this one's kind of insane. Um, it is the, where is it? Not the dropper, not the distributor, detector, the activator module. I believe, if I understand this, cr this properly, this thing will actually activate things for, like it will, it will right click on things. So what I want to know uh, so actually, let's go here, here. Um, can I, I don't have those. Can I do this? Yes. Beautiful. We'll make a couple of these. I need to make myself a lever. I need to make myself one of those. See, do you see how much faster this is? <laughs> Just being able to, uh, oh, I made, I made the wrong thing. Oh, okay. We need, uh, whoa, wait a minute. Why, why, oh, right. We need one, two, three, four. Toss those in. Make me one of those. And there we go. And now I believe, if I understand this properly, which uh, I guess we will find out. I think, uh, you know what? Let's just make a new shears. Let's just go like this. If I put this thing down and we right click on this, action, right click. Will it right-click with the shears? That is what I want to know. Do I need to, like, put this in? Because what I want to know is if I can use this <laughs> to automatically shear my sheep for me. There's lots of other cool stuff you can do with this functionality. But if I put this uh, thing right here... We throw this in, we'll say front. And then always on? No, it's not doing the thing. Okay, I'll have to look into this a little bit and see uh, if this if there's a way to do this. It might not be 
possible, unfortunately. Although I think Quark actually... Because we have Quark. Doesn't Quark make it so you can shear sheep with like a dispenser or something like that in shears? I don't know. Either way, I want to automate the production of shears and um, also honeycomb. That would be lovely because we are – do we need lots of these? Especially since uh, wool is essentially how I am getting all of my emeralds right now. So – yeah, that's a thing. But let me uh, get a couple things ready to go, put some stuff away, etc., etc., and then let's go ahead and run a vault together. Okay, I think we're good. Now, I my current bounty is to do a monolith vault. I should actually check. Is there a better one here? Eh, not really. I mean, actually, getting a couple of echo gems would be nice, but ancient debris is... I don't really have any. Uh, oh, hey, I need that in my inventory. There we go. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to go ahead and run the, a regular old vault and hope that we get a monolith one. I guess we'll see what happens. Uh, there we go. I should also give you a quick update on my gear. It has been a little while since I've shown it. I'm level 57 now. We're rocking this vault helmet, this chest plate, these leggings. They're only scrappy, but it's still 21 armor and decent mana regen. Uh, these boots that give a whopping 26 armor, which is just insane. And then this sword, which is a pretty basic sword, but that sweeping hit chance has been super clutch. I'm loving it. Uh, I think it might be my new favorite thing to put on a sword because that AOE damage is just great. But let's pop on in here. Ooh. Ooh, it is a monolith vault, and it also appears to be a nether-themed vault. Interesting. Okay, we'll give it a second to load. So, I have to find eight monoliths. That's a lot. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom through all the rooms as quickly as I can and try to find monoliths just to make sure I complete it so I can get the quest. And then I will do some exploring uh, as far as, like, you know, grabbing items and stuff. All right, let's get to it. Well, we stumbled into a village room in, like, the third room. Oh, I should turn on my magnet. Uh, so we will peek this really quick. I think we would probably have time. I actually grab all the uh, all the wheat every time I see one of these because it's an easy way to get a lot of wheat. Um, but I don't want to spend too long here. What I want to do – I don't even really care about the stuff up above – what I care about is finding the way down below, which I think is far more important. Uh, it's not over here. I don't I don't know if it's even ever in a house anymore. I've never actually seen it be in a house. This is a, la a specific village layout that I have not stumbled across yet. It what you're really looking for is like a grate that like leads down. Nope, that leads to vault bedrock. Ah, found it. Okay, so this is a pretty fancy little dungeon. Uh, we're just going to put that there to kind of mark our spot. But there are all sorts of nasty mobs down here. Also, you can actually break these spawners, which we are definitely going to want to do. Because they have a chance to drop uh, spawner dust. And yeah, it looks like this is going to be basically all ornate chests. So I will uh, grab whatever I can. This could be very lucrative for us. Break that. And if we can keep the spawners under control, then we'll actually be feeling really good. We can get a lot of loot here. Ooh, okay. Uh, kill you first. Uh, you know what? Let's just, nah, let's just go for it. I do have my, uh... Okay, there we go. That'll prevent further spawns. Stupid silverfish, go away. You also need to die. And we'll leave the little ones alone, because we don't care. Okay, also I know you guys have been telling me to get my... Uh, my backpacks organized and stuff like that. I will get to it sooner or later. I keep putting it off. 
uh, which is probably not a good idea, but eh. But don't worry, I do read all your comments. I do see them. If you guys haven't figured it out already, though, I have been pre-recording uh, these episodes just to make sure that I maintain a specific, like a a consistent upload schedule with all the other stuff that's happening in my life right now. Uh, so, you know, usually by the time I see the comment, I've already recorded like three more videos that you guys haven't seen yet. Uh, but I do read all the comments and I, I, I do appreciate you all leaving them and giving me advice and all that kind of stuff because like I haven't played Vault Hunters since I think it was like the very first version, maybe like the second version or something like that. Oh, hello. I see you. Come to me. Okay, well, we may have uh, we may have missed some loot down there, but you know what? I'm willing to accept that. I don't want to be in this room for the entire time. We we definitely still want to get the monolith gold done, and we did get a pretty decent chunk of various uh, ornate chest loot, so I'm not going to complain. It was a good find, uh, but we still have 20 minutes and 8 monoliths to find, and we're immediately led into another village. <laughs> One room in between, and we, we found a second village already. Okay, um, well, I mean, we'll at least peek and see what kind of chests there are in this one. If I can find the way down. Actually, this one might also be one of the ones that's in a house. If this is it, though, we're going to have to... Nope, there it is. We're going to have to zoom if it's ornate chests, I might just skip it. And I think it is. I think this is base? No. No, this is... Is this literally the... Did I just go backwards? Am I dumb? I am... I am dumb. I literally went back into the same room we were just in. Good job, self. Okay, there we go. There's our first monolith uh, with about 17 minutes left. But now that I'm zooming through rooms, I should hopefully find them fairly quickly. Hey, there we go. There's another one. Uh, 15 minutes later. Or it's now 15 minutes, so that took us about two minutes to find that one. I did get a little bit sidetracked, to be fair, but... Yo, please, please, get off of me. I, I just... I want your loot. There we go. And a trapped one. Naturally. Oh, hello, champion. Uh, hi. Please stay away. Okay, you're dead. That got us uh, a relic fragment. And then also um, uh, a magnet, which, uh, eh, I don't know. My magnet, by the way, I'll have to show it to you later. It's absolutely insane. It's like the best magnet I've ever seen in my life. Uh, and I could not be happier to have it. It will definitely be getting repaired when it breaks and used Probably until it's, like, fully gone. But I do spy another monolith. So, hello. Three down, five to go. There's another one that makes four. I gotta say, I'm thinking that this is not actually a nether-themed uh, thing. I, I think this is actually uh, just something else. Uh, which, like, it's fine. Uh, this is a new village. We have not been to this one yet. Uh, and there's our entrance to the bit. We've got about 13 minutes left, so we don't have a ton of time. But if this is one of the ones that gives living chests, I will poke around at least a bit, and it appears it is. So I think I am obligated to at least look, because I need living chests very badly. Okay. I'm sure I missed some stuff, but again, much like last time, uh, I don't want to spend forever in here because we have many more things to do in this vault, uh, like complete it. So, yeah. But I did get a pretty significant amount of loot, and I'm happy about that. Um, like, that's, that's not bad for living stuff. I should actually take... See, this is why I, I, I should get around to actually organizing my stuff at some point. Placeholder living chest? What? Okay. I don't know what that is. Um, is that just a living chest that I somehow picked up? Did it, like, bug out on me or something? I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, we're going to keep moving. There's another monolith. Uh, looks like we'll probably be okay for time. We got three to go, and we have about ten minutes left. 
So I think we'll be good. Ooh, man, they keep throwing these crazy good rooms at me. I mean, I may regret this, but... Okay, as much as I would love to stay longer in that room, uh, especially since we got so much good stuff, I, I think we need to we need to keep moving. Uh, we did get a lot of a decent amount of vault gems, though, and there we go, another monolith. So we're only two away. Hopefully we'll be okay, and we can just not have to worry too much. I think we'll be fine. We have six minutes left and only two monoliths to go. As long as we keep things moving, we should be okay. Okay, second to last monolith. That's a good sign. We only have one left. We got about five more minutes to go. And uh, we're not super far from the portal room either. So, I like, as long as we don't get super unlucky, we should be good. And there it is. The last monolith. Not too bad. So now we just need to find the exit. What we're actually going to do is cut over this way by two rooms. And then start heading back... Oh, or, or we're just gonna fall. Uh, that's 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 cool too. Uh, that that was not the plan. Uh, wow. Why why can I suddenly not jump? Um, I am so bad at this game. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, so we'll, <laughs> we'll go over here, and then we'll cut to the east, and that should start taking us back towards the uh the portal room for our escape. That way, as time ticks down, we're getting closer, but we're still exploring as we go. Okay, we just passed the portal room. So, the portal itself should basically be, like, right over here. And I don't think we actually explored this room. Uh, so, we might as well, since the portal should be basically right there, we might as well poke around a little bit and see what we can find. Um, I don't know if we're going to find anything too great, but hey, it's worth at least looking. And we did find some good stuff. A couple of ornate chests, always useful. Uh, but we're down to less than a minute now. So I think we'll grab these chests right here. And then that will be it. For this vault, uh, I can extend my vault time if I really need to, but eh, I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, we're just going to go. Uh, and we should be able to make it there. Ooh, uh, this is actually a little annoying. Uh, this door is in a rather annoying spot. But this should be the portal. Yep, there we go. So, we've done it. Uh, a vault complete. Don't mind if I do. And that completes our bounty as well. We get a ton of experience because we have our trinket that doubles our vault experience. Uh, we'll sleep real quick. And let's grab our bounty. Oh, I forgot to dump all of that junk. Oh, well, it's fine. Uh, this is why we now have a refined storage system. Because we can just pop over here and say, hey, I don't want any of this stuff in my inventory. And there you go. It is all gone. <laughs> That's so nice. And the beautiful thing is I've got priority set up properly. So it will always try to put stuff into the storage drawers first. And if it can't do that, then it will put stuff into the colossal chest and into these disk drives. So, yeah, it's... Uh, man, I should have done that ages ago. Uh, but we got a bunch of different vault loot. We got a decent amount of vault gems. We got quite a bit of gear. And this doesn't even include what's in our crates. So, tell you what, let's actually put all of this stuff over here. That way we can see what we get in our crates. I mean, we, I already know what's in the bounty crate, but you know what I mean. Uh, the rest of this, though, we can just dump. Oh, I want to see what happens with this, by the way. Uh, I Okay, I don't think that was supposed to exist. Um... <laughs> I think that was some sort of bug. Oh, we need to check this, too. What did we get for our Relic Fragment? Dragon Breath. Pretty sure that was one we already had. Yeah. Unfortunate. It's fine. 
But yeah, let me get my inventory cleaned up and we'll take a look and see how we made out as far as like equipment and all that kind of stuff goes. Okay, so here's all the stuff we got from our crate other than, you know, random items and things. Notably, though, we got another artifact. And, ooh, I think this is one that we've already collected. I guess we'll find out. Let's take a look at the gear first. So, magnet, shield, eh, I don't, none of these look that crazy. 16, yeah. Eh, I mean, once you reach a certain point, like, I feel like my gear is actually relatively okay at the moment. So, none of this is great. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Check out this magnet. Uh, 17 mining speed, which is like, uh, sure, that's cool, but 14 item quantity and 17% disarm chance. Don't mind if I do. That's an amazingly good magnet. Um, but let's pop over to the spawn island real quick and just see. I think we already have this. Yeah. Yep. Right here. We've already got that one. So we'll just throw this one in here. Uh, because these can be broken down to make new ones, so I'll just toss that in there. Ooh, I think this is new. I don't think this was there before. So, looks like we are making progress as a group, uh, which is good. I'm excited. Uh, but guys, I think that is going to do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.